Hey Technistas, it's Marisha and the weather is finally so beautiful. So I am outside taking a walk. There's a, there's a, hold on, there's a dog coming. Oh, there's nobody behind me. Since the premiere of Spongebob, Spongebob has been one of my favorite shows in the world. There's little flies and bugs out here and I'm just like. So for this video, we're going to do a Spongebob inspired cake. It's going to be very simple. We're going to start off by making our pineapple. We're going to do it in buttercream frosting because if you're like me, you prefer buttercream frosting. We're going to do some cute under the sea decorations around it with fondant. So if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the channel. There's a lot of cars coming. Click on the notification bell. Oh my goodness, there's so much music. Click on the notification bell to get updates on whenever I make a video for you guys. We're hitting summer soon. They're all going to be good. Let's get started. Here is my cake. It's prepped, ready for me to go. As you can see, it's crumb coated already. It was refrigerated so that the crumbs are trapped. I have some yellow buttercream here and I'm going to apply a thick layer. I finally got my tall cake scraper, the one that I'm using in this video. It's amazing. It helps out so much. So now I'm going to use that same cake scraper to make my grids on my pineapple cake. I'm going to start by going in a diagonal direction going one way and then flip that over and go in the other direction as well so that we can get our diamond shapes for our pineapple. I took a clean paintbrush with a little bit of brown gel dye and yellow gel dye mixed together and I painted in the pineapple grids onto the cake. I didn't want to go too dark so that's why I blended the brown gel dye with yellow. And then you're also going to make those little teeny, I don't even know, the eyes of the pineapple. That's what they're called. You're going to make the eyes of the pineapple just with a little swoop or dab of your paintbrush right in the center of each diamond shape. Now I'm going to make the waves of the ocean, which of course shows, you know, the pineapple under the sea. So I take some blue fondant and I just kind of cut it into wave shapes and applied it to the bottom of the cake. We're going to do like two or three layers of this. So my second layer, as you can see, is like a marbled effect. I have some light blue in there, some dark blue, and I just pulled it and stretched it and didn't fully mix in the colors so that it gives me a nice water effect, like the ocean. And then once I apply that to the bottom of the cake over the first layer, now I'm gonna make my seaweed just with a little bit of green fondant. I cut it into like a long triangular stripe and then just kind of twisted it up a little bit. And I wanted it to be kind of tall. We've got some tall pieces, some shorter pieces. And you're just going to make enough of these to go all around your cake. Now I'm going to make my coral. This is the most beautiful color fondant ever. It's a little drop of orange and a little drop of red. It makes like a nice orangey color. So you're going to roll a few balls of fondant and then use a ball tool to actually make little indentations. When you group them together, it just looks like beautiful, vibrant coral. It reminds me of Finding Nemo. Like seriously, like I'm just waiting for Nemo to go up in one of those things and wait for his dad. So now to finish off this cake, we need some sand. So we're going to put some buttercream frosting on the bottom of that cake board. And baby girl didn't have no types of cookies. So she used some Cheerios because I got plenty of cereal. I just put my Cheerios and some in my Vitamix and pulverized that bad boy and I'd say it looks like sand. Thank you ma'am. It does. It looks just like sand. Now with the bottom of a piping tip. I'm going to indent a couple circles on there and then I'm going to just pipe some white buttercream making some bubbles. Piping for me onto a cake like this is so tedious and hard for me to do. I can't even lie. Like I need more practice. So this was a little bit time consuming for me as you can see. 
much later so now on spongebob there's like these little cute flowers i don't know they're called like sea flowers i have no idea but i just made a couple of those for the top of the cake as well as the pineapple topper i would have liked to make this a lot bigger it's kind of consumed by the cake but either way still cute so this is the original drawing of my idea and this is the final product i hope that you guys enjoyed this like i would definitely if i were sponge hop into that cake i mean as a person i'd hop into that cake just dive on in and take a bite if you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to like the video and leave a comment below saying hey girl tell me if you love spongebob as much as i do like literally i love spongebob i will see you guys in the next video couture in a spongebob inspired pineapple cake bye guys